Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Today we are going to be going through our process of designing our nursery for our daughter on a budget. So here is the end result. I know I'm giving everything away right away, but I wanted to kind of show you the direction we were headed. Um, we started off with this kind of blank slate. This used to be my son's room. Um, this was his nursery. And when we first moved in, we had him almost immediately. So we didn't get the chance to like paint or anything like that. So when it came time for my daughter, I went in and I just painted the walls. For right now, we're doing everything kind of white just because we still haven't quite decided what direction we want to do with colors. So when we do know the color, we go for that. But otherwise, we're just trying to freshen up the paint because this place was not very well taken care of before us. And then I knew that with her room, I wanted to do some sort of feature wall. I feel like that was the best way to make it feel more like a nursery despite the fact that the walls were all very white. So these are kind of some of our inspiration photos, things that I was keeping uh, tabbed in my Pinterest, trying to um, just get some inspiration ideas. The thing that I knew when we first started this was that we pretty much couldn't buy anything new. We needed everything to either be stuff we had from around the house or things that were used from garage sales and um, resale. So we started off with the pieces we already had. We had our crib and then we had this piece which was given to us by my husband's work. It was in really rough shape when we got it. It had water damage and then we just painted it white. And then after that, we went straight for the wall mural. Of course, that's gonna be a cheaper option just because if you already have paint on hand, you just use what you have. So my niece and I went in and um, painted it. I sketched it out before she came over and then she just helped me fill it in and paint it. Um, and then we added the blossoms afterwards. And I kind of did like a mixture of different colors for the blossoms because we already knew the color palette and we already had the curtains at this point. My mom had found some at a garage sale so we just decided we would use those. Even though they're not my favorite, it was kind of the idea of just using what we had. When things started to get closer, I kind of panicked because we didn't really have any accent pieces in her room, nothing to really give it character outside of that mural. So I knew I had some felt in the basement and I had these clouds pinned to my board, so I decided to just try and make them. Um, so in this situation, I just uh, cut out things that looked like clouds, uh, two pieces, sewed them together, turned them inside out like a pillow, and then filled them. And uh, at first I didn't think that I really liked them, but now they've like really grown on me, and I really enjoy the kind of three-dimensional look that it has on her room. Um, when it came time to fill them, we didn't have any fiber fill in our house, so I literally ripped up um, an old blanket that had been melted from our old dryer and just used that fiber fill from it. Like I said, I did everything I could to cut costs here. Once the pillows were done, I just kind of went in and looked at where I wanted them to hang. I liked them in this corner, kind of uh, disrupting the eye from where the branch comes out of the wall. So I started off with just thread hanging from these. I used tacks to hang them into the ceiling temporarily, don't worry, temporarily until I could find the right spots as to where I want them. Um, and then once I found the right spots, then I went and got actual ceiling hooks to hold them. Once we finished with the clouds, I had to kind of go through the stuff that we had collected for her. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, it was February, so I kind of planned the whole summer to randomly go to garage sales with my son and try to find clothes. And I found clothes for her up to 40, um, kind of hoarded them away. And right now I'm currently working on a capsule wardrobe for her. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. But I just did one for my son and I really like how the system worked for him. So um, in this video, I'm just cleaning up everything, trying to see what items I saved, going through her diapers, going through everything, trying to find the right spots for stuff. Um, one thing we did invest in um, was a pull-down 
uh, blackout curtain. We had this for our son's room. We actually had this for our bedroom. We don't use it personally anymore. We just use blackout curtains in our room, but this one is a vinyl blackout curtain that pulls down and it works really well for um, how bright our house is. But we bought this brand new. It was $60. It wasn't fun. Next was the decorative pieces. I had a bunch of flowers left over from a baby shower I did. I had, um, I used to collect sand from different locations. This was sand from um, our wedding location. And then um, I had these, I guess they're kind of like shadow boxes, but without the glass in the front. And so I originally placed these because I wanted to hang up her headbands, but then um, had that up for about, I would say about a month or two and really didn't like the placement. Um, and I'm just trying to be honest with how I did this. There was a lot of trial and error, but I, so far I love the end result. I think things are a little bit more cohesive, whereas this was just too cluttered. It didn't look quite right. Um, I used some hooks that we had to hang up her headbands and then just put random things in the shadow boxes because again, we don't really have a whole lot of like decorative tchotchkes at this point and I didn't really collect any for her. So I just used the flowers and kind of glued them into the boxes and I'm sure that'll change over time. But as of right now, it was just kind of a way to make them look full. You can even see the flowers falling <laughs> from the hot glue. Anyway, so then I, I moved on and I changed where this was located. I moved it next to where the tree is and I like this much better. It balanced out the room a little bit more and all of this is pretty much eyeballed. I just kind of threw them up where I felt like they were uh, correctly positioned. My son was extremely helpful with this process, as you can tell. And then I had these white shelves. Um, I think they're like Target brand shelves that we had from when we first got married. Utilized them in the room. Again, it was kind of, I was a little intimidated by using them because again, we don't have a lot of knickknacks for her. So I went into this knowing that I might have to make some knickknacks to put on the shelf, which ended up working out because I did try to do a three-dimensional paper um, cricket design, which was fun of a little girl sitting underneath a tree. And then I tried my hand at some felt, uh, like a felt bead string. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but I don't actually know how else to word them. They were, they were wool felt balls that I handmade and then strung them together. And then I moved on to um, this other side wall, felt like it looked bare. And so I was gonna try to do um, either a couple different picture frames or do a mirror. Um, I'm a little weird about putting mirrors in my kids' rooms. I feel like for some reason, I just, I don't want them to spook our kids. So that might end up changing as she gets a little bit older. But for right now, I liked the positioning. It fit kind of the design of her room. I've held on to this mirror for years. I feel like I've never even used it steadily in one location. It's just kind of been a wall filler. And then the wall above the changing table was very bare. And so um, I wanted to do something with my Cricut because uh, it's cheap and I can do something quite large. So I thought about doing um, birds flying because her room's kind of this nature theme and I didn't want everything to be just flowers. So I found this picture of butterflies. So I just decided to design my own, which I wanted a color other than pink. Um, so I decided to do gold accents and uh, picked out some gold vinyl and then I designed it on Photoshop uh, just took some pictures of birds from the internet and then silhouetted them to make them all kind of flying cohesively and I even went back in and changed out a few of the birds because I really didn't like the way that um, some of the birds looked or they weren't the right kind of birds they didn't fit in with the flock but eventually I had a good enough look that it looks cohesive.
Next we have our mobile. Now this is a little bit of cheating because technically I didn't make this. My mom did. Um, she made the one for my son's room when he was first born um, and the theme of his room. She wanted to make one for Amara as well. And then the next item that we move into is our rug. Now this is the probably the only other thing we bought brand new for her room. Um, I wanted a rug that would complement her crib. Unfortunately, this rug didn't end up being the correct dimensions that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to flow in the same direction as the room goes, but unfortunately, it just didn't feel right. It was the same width as her crib, and it drove me nuts pointing that direction. So I spent a great deal of time turning this thing around <laughs> until I could find a position that worked. I ended up going with just in front of her crib. Once we had the rug where we wanted it, we moved into decorating the shelves. Like I said, we used only stuff we had around the house. I had a little planter from the basement that I used with some baked plants. I had some rocks that um, are nostalgic for me from my grandfather, who's a big rock hound. I have a photo from my maternity photos, and then I have a photo of Amara's aunt, who she's named after. And then um, just some random pieces here and there that I kind of relocated or found in our very small bin of home decor that I keep in the basement just in case. And finally, here is the finished product. We've been waiting quite a long time, actually about a year, to have this room finalized. It's one negative of doing it on a budget is that you are in a position where you have to be patient for certain things. But now I can finally say that I am happy with the end result. I can stop fixating on having her room being finished. It feels finished now. It feels cozy and comfy. It's not too crazy stimulating. And it is going to be fun to watch her grow in this room. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment or hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.